is a, a great field and a great golf course in very, very tough conditions. Uh, we kind of opened up the first round, uh, and, you know, and, and played okay under those conditions. It was cold, nasty, as it, as it can get at Purdue once in a while. Uh, got much better in the afternoon, and we really started playing well, but really, really stepped on ourselves coming in. We had three players, both right at even par with three holes to play, uh, and they all shot 75. They all stumbled home. Uh, uh, David Ernie Chase right, sh both shot, I believe, even par that round. So we had five players at even par ready to really make a statement and really get back in it, and, and we didn't do it. So interesting team meeting that night. Uh, I did something I've never done before. Uh, and uh, the kids responded the next day. It was a special day for us on Sunday at Purdue. Uh, we had four players really clicking, really going at it, really fighting hard. Uh, two, six under par on, the, on, the, on that golf course under very windy, tough conditions was, is very, very special. To have it at one point, 11 under par was uh, something I didn't know that we we or anybody else would be capable of doing. Uh, we beat a lot of great teams, top 20 teams, top 30 teams. And, that you know, in golf, those scores don't carry over, but hopefully that momentum, hopefully that confidence can carry over to this week. Well, the unknown about French Lick is the golf course. Uh, the Pete Dye course at French Lick is aesthetically as pleasing as you could imagine. It's visually intimidating. It is long. It is treacherous. It is full of penalties. It is just uh, going to be a test. And that's the unknown for the 2012 Big Ten Championship is that golf course. Now, we have some experience playing that golf course, and we hope that experience will help us. Uh, we're taking the same lineup, obviously, that we won with at Purdue. We feel that lineup is really gelling together. We feel that we're getting a lot of momentum as the lineup goes. Uh, Chase Wright continues to play great. He kind of, you know, stumbled a little bit himself, but he came back a little in a big way. At Purdue. David Erty is back, and that's a that's a good news for this program. Uh, David Mills has played solid all spring. Uh, Corey Zadonis, those last two rounds at the Purdue were statements for him, and that last round especially. Uh, he, he finished postseason last year very, very well, and we see some evidence of that. You know, Brant Peeper is a player we really need to show up. Uh, we've done a lot of work with Brant yesterday. I spent a lot of time with him, uh, getting him ready. We think we made the changes we need to make for him to be successful. We hope to come Sunday. It's a dogfight. We hope we're in that fight, and we hope to see a lot of Hoosier fans down there. Cheering the song.